it's your girl Kim and today we are going to decorate my planner. We are doing the complete opposite of my last video where I did some minimal planning in a weekly spread because this time we are going to make some cute decorative stuff for my planner using the Honey Bee Shop's Babe Box. Now this particular Babe Box I did feature in another video. So definitely check out that video so you could see the cute goodies I got. This was an amazing collab of the Honeybee Shop and Bear Necessity Sticker Co. Can't wait to put it all together in my planner. So the first thing I did was pull out one of my dashboards to use as a guideline. I believe in measuring once. Next, I grabbed all the papers that I'll be using. I basically used almost all the papers from the January 2021 Babe Box. Ugh, these designs are so cute. Totally fits my aesthetic. And the tools I used is this paper cutter, a pair of scissors, and a craft knife. Also, I used a special hole puncher. This is my Rapisco hole puncher to use for my pocket rings pages. I like how there's different sizes, but you can use a basic hole puncher to individually punch the holes as well. Remember that guideline I showed you earlier? Well, I used it to cut all three sheets and this is how it looks to size. I looked through the sticker book and grabbed that particular sticker and put it on this sheet. Looking so cute so far. And now I'm going to hole punch it with my handy dandy hole puncher. I had leftover holographic vinyl from a previous craft I've done, so I made a sticker of my name. sticker book I took this sticker out I really wanted to use it somewhere in my planner because it's just so cute and kind of resembles me in a way I don't know I found some scrap white card stock and I wanted to make a Polaroid so I adhered the sticker onto the white paper and now you get to see me trim it Voila, that's how my Polaroid die cut came out. So now I want to choose a cute paper clip to go with it. I chose the gold one because it would stand out some more, but I felt like the background's a little busy. So let's change the paper. Ah, that's more like it. I like that better. Here I wanted to add more pizzazz, so I added washi tape. Both tapes are from the Honey Bee Shop. I think everything I used here is from the Honey Bee Shop. These are the pages I completed so far. Let's make more. So as you see with this next one, I kept it very, very simple. I just put my business card in the middle and I'm just gonna affix it with washi tape. And here we go. This is the final flip through. I love how all these pages turned out. In fact, I added a few more cute pieces in here that I didn't get to film, but I am glad that I got to revamp my planner with these awesome goodies from the Honey Bee Shop. So if you like watching this kind of stuff, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.